بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون وی ول ڈسکس ان دس لیکچر اور ان دس ویڈیو اباؤٹ لینگویج فیملیز اینڈ ویل کور ٹو ٹاپکس اباؤٹ لینگویج فیملیز دیٹ واٹ از اے لینگویج فیملی ویل ڈیفائن اٹ ود دا ہیلپ آف سم ایگزامپلس اینڈ دین دا اوور آل لینگویج فیملیز ان دا ورلڈ اینڈ ٹوٹل نمبر آف لینگویج اسپوکن سم dead languages and the languages with less number of speakers language family first of all uh, before starting it you can say that the term family as one person is the head of the family like a grandfather in a house so if uh, a grandfather is there in the house the all of his his sons his daughters then their sons their daughters they are all his offsprings i mean his uh, uh, children they will be considered as so he would be considered as the head of the family the one uh, from that all others have come the grandfather and the grandmother just as an example i am telling you in the same way language families are there is one fa- language and Uh, a group of languages hundred thousand two thousand they've been derived from one language so that is actually we call language families so let's start with it first of all let's define what language family is a language family is a group of related language that develop from a common ancestral or parental language as i told you that one language is there and after that about there can be the the number of the languages can vary from family to family uh, from one family 100 1000 2000 languages they are defined they are you know uh, derived from one main language and that main language is known as parental ancestral or referred as proto language proto is a greek word which means early it means that the first languages or the ancient languages for instance you can say a uh, sanskrit language sanskrit uh, is a language uh, this uh, uh, most of the books of hindu religion they are written in sanskrit language so sanskrit in uh, it is language of subcontinent where we live today in pakistan so all the languages in subcontinent and the associated religions with uh, regions with it they are all the languages they are derived from sanskrit language so sanskrit is uh, uh, included in indo-european family so most of the languages they are derived from it so one main language and the rest of the language they are taken from it uh, now uh, one question is there that if we talk about even sanskrit language or we talk about latin languages or we talk about hebro language language Uh, the old languages or the ancient languages and uh, the historians the linguists they believe that the rest of the languages they were derived from them they are actually the offsprings or branches of those uh, main languages or ancient languages so what is the procedure to uh, fix that which language is the early or ancient language so they use a comparative method uh by comparing various languages and finding similarities in the languages if there are two three four five similarities they are found uh, it means that they belong to one specific class of uh, family and uh, proto language can also be derived from one major historical language as i told you about sanskrit so there is a comparative method and there is one historical known language sometimes uh, the language family the the early language uh, the language from it the other languages are derived sometimes it is known and sometimes it is unknown when it is unknown the linguists and the historians they apply comparative method like comparing various languages and then reaching to the earliest or ancient language so here in subcontinent you can say uh we can say hindi urdu punjabi sindhi sraiki there are many words these all the languages they share the, they share same language uh, same words 
so it the these similarities of the words and similarity of accent it tells it gives us information that they actually belong to one language then how we establish relationship among languages uh latin is the you can say ancient or the oldest language in europe that was spoken and it uh, enjoyed uh, the status of a privileged or high class language there as today english is considered as elite language or first class languages in pakistan in the same way latin was the high class language or elite class language in europe so it is parental language of italian language so most of the words uh, because italy it was part of greek and rome rome is a city still present in italy so they share the same geographical areas and uh, the uh, romans they ruled uh, for hundreds of years over europe so italian language is actually having lot of words from latin language Uh, with roman conquest latin spread in europe because romans they were the superpowers and as they conquered many areas of europe their language also spread in the continent uh, of europe so uh, most uh, the major languages that are actually emerged or derived from re- latin language they are italian french portuguese and spanish these are the languages they share similar qualities they have similar words and similar pronunciation it doesn't mean that all the words all the sentences or the grammatical structures are same it only means that few of the words or few of the sentences they are same that tells us that if there is similarity in few of the sentences and words it means that the these languages they are derived from one main language so latin uh italian french portuguese and spanish they are derived from latin language and one thing more i must mention here uh when we talk about parental language in ancestral language or uh, high class or elite language most of the times it is spread due to the conquest due to the wars and due to the geographical occupations also for example the, we are living in subcontinent and english came here nobody was aware uh, about english uh, until 15th 16th century when this east india company uh, it came to subcontinent they came they brought their language and culture to subcontinent that is why uh, when they went back they left their culture and language with us so still we i mean for almost 300 years english is known to us once they came they conquered us they ruled us they left their language in the same way uh, romans they conquered many areas of europe so wherever they go because they were the rulers so their language enjoyed the high privileged value uh, so these languages uh, they belong to one family that is known as indo european family now indo european family uh, we will discuss it later on in this video uh now let's uh define that how can we say that uh, italian spanish portuguese they uh, portuguese they are uh, derived from latin language this is one word uh, for water uh, a c q u a aqua then in spanish we say agua and portuguese we say agua also so these words they somehow they are similar and they mean water uh in this way the historians and the linguists by comparing such words those who shows uh, to some extent similarity between the words then they say that they are derived from the uh, one parental language that is latin and these languages are also known as romance languages why romance languages because uh, roman conquest from roman languages latin they are derived so they are romance languages so we have also many languages that do not have any particular history or records or written record because uh language uh, is uh, preserved in two ways one the language has its speakers that they every day they speak a language 
and it passes from one generation to an other generation orally and the second one is which is more authentic and which is actually recorded in history that is written literature or written pieces of languages those languages uh, uh, the languages uh, those do not have any written record they you know extinct or they just uh, wiped out from the map of the world so they only traces they are left otherwise it's very difficult to find that what kind of language that was or uh, to know about exactly about that language unless and until we get a written record for that and there are many languages that do not have any written records and they are still unknown to the people but uh, it is thought that how can we say that uh, one language was spoken into one area and uh, it has no written record because sometimes the archaeologists when they uh, dig some uh, ancient you know uh, buildings or ancient places they find some written scriptures written on the walls or some words so they define that to some extent the languages some type of languages were spoken at that time and second most important is how we group the languages in one language family so these languages they are grouped on the basis of geography geographical areas like uh, one continent is um, as we talk about Europe or we talk about Asia we talk about South Asia we talk about America so these are regions L languages they have also their regions so uh, most of the languages they are you know uh, grouped according to the geographical distribution or the geographic geographical area like the the areas which are adjacent to each other their languages are grouped in one language family and uh, the example of that that the languages they are categorized on the basis of geography they are geography and they are languages uh, of australia australia africa and america the there are many of the languages they are spoken and they are derived and grouped on the basis of their region or geography then let's talk about how many total number of languages language families uh, 147 language families and uh, when the new languages they are discovered then the number may change uh, because it is always a ongoing process new languages have been discovered and there are many languages in uh, africa where uh, still they are unknown to the historians and the linguists so whenever they find a new language it is included in it and when we talk about the total number of languages that are spoken in the world they are about 76500 to 7000 so some of the linguists they say 6900 6500 6600 so in the range of 6500 to 7000 languages they are spoken and interestingly 2000 languages uh, have uh, just uh, close to 1000 speakers only like as we talk about our Punjabi, Sraiki, Pashto, Urdu language we have number of speakers but there are other languages there are languages whose actually native speakers are very less in number uh, example is that Hebrew language Hebrew is a language like uh, uh, the religious language of Jews you can say uh, in simple words uh, Hebrew is one of the oldest languages of the world human history and Sanskrit also and some of the historians and the linguists they believe that probably Sanskrit was the language that was given to Adam and Eve Hazrat Adam and Hazrat Hawa both of them they were blessed with Sanskrit language and Hebrew on the other side it is also a uh, one of the oldest languages of the world and it has uh, as far as hebrew is concerned it has uh, very less number of sp uh, uh, native speakers those who are left so they offer many scholarships for the people to come and study the uh, hebrew language in this way the languages they are uh, categorized and grouped now let's talk about the language families 
uh, as our topic is also language families when we talk about language family it is indo-european language family now as we have discussed that languages they are grouped according to the religion uh, sorry uh, according to region and geography geography so indo-european language uh, it includes all the languages and subcontinent this region where we live and also the languages of europe although subcontinent doesn't have any adjacent areas to europe but the historians they have grouped it because uh, many of the European languages they believe that they are also derived from Sanskrit language. So Sanskrit is the parental language of the language spoken here in uh, subcontinent region India, Pakistan, Bangladesh and all adjacent areas and some of the areas of Europe also. So and uh, it, it contains 439 languages. So one language family can have many languages. Uh, Afro-Asiatic, it is having 374 languages. Australian, uh, this Australian language family, it includes all the languages that are spoken in Australia. So 264. Niger Congo, that is in Africa, 1532 languages. And uh, Austronesian, 1257 languages. I have only mentioned here uh, five well-known language families, but there are others too. Uh, I have given here a link you just click on it and you will find it very interesting that uh, 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 how many language families are there and even the as I have mentioned here that Indo-European language family or I mentioned the number 439 you will find a table there when you click on this link uh, or you just write it on your browser uh, you will find out that what uh, the names of those 439 languages and 374 languages and their region also geography also everything is mentioned there so these are uh, this is all about language families and uh, uh, about language families concerned like the words as i already told you as we talk about subcontinent the words of hindi and urdu they are almost same when you watch indian movies we watch pakistani movies they are uh, the dialogue spoken they are same but in the written description uh, Urdu is quite different than Hindi. Then as we talk about Punjabi language, uh, it is most of the words of Punjabi language they are similar to Urdu and Hindi also. In the same way, even a person who is speaking Sraiki, you can easily understand and even a Urdu speaking person can understand Punjabi and Sraiki because they are quite close to Urdu and Hindi language. So this, uh, this is one of the examples that how languages they are close associated to each other according to their region, according to their geography and according to their parental and ancestral language.